I'm Angie. Um, yeah, and today I want to make um, a new fun pattern, a new fun design for my bonbons. Um, I think I saw it on Instagram or so. So, well, my Instagram is just looking like cake, bonbons, cookies, chocolate. That's pretty much um, all my um, Instagram is about. Basically, it's only food and sweets. Um, and yeah, so I found this one pattern. Um, and I really want to try it out. So basically, you just um, yeah temper your chocolate. You fill um, chocolate in your cavity in your mold. Um, put a toothstick in. Um, let it set. Let it harden. Um, put out the bonbon, and then you can use it kind of like a stamp. You might have seen this also somewhere on the internet. Um, yeah, and that's what I want to try today, and hope it works out. I've never tried it before, as always, and um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Um, I also want to use um, a couple of different colors, a, a couple of different um, yeah, combinations of colors. So yeah, let's see. So this is how we start. Um, I want to try out two different molds. I have here the ones with um, yeah in diamond shape, and here my sphere shaped molds. I just polished them a little bit with a micro cloth and now I want to uh, make the stamp. I'll tell you what the plan is. The plan is to fill in tempered chocolate and then use a toothpick and while it sets I will add the toothpick and I hope that I can later just pull out uh, my tempered chocolate and um, use it as a stamp. Most likely you can um, yeah, leave them here at room temperature, but I will just put them into the refrigerator for a couple of minutes, maybe 20, let's say 20 minutes. And let's take a look. So this looks tempered, uh, but how am I getting it out? Oh, like that. <laughs> okay, cool. So now here I have kind of a stamp, I think. That could work. Yeah, that could work. Cool. Okay. Um, I don't know how to get it out. Um, ah, here you go. Just a little bit. Um, now I will clean up my mo my molds once again, and then we can start with our colors. Okay. So I want to use those three colors for the diamond that's all from chef rubber i have a purple i have a peach and i have a pink and then i have a white all from chef rubber the super gold and a pale green satin for the spheres so that's the plan um what i want to do with um, the diamonds. I want to start out with the darkest color and get um, brighter, brighter, brighter. And for the spheres, I want to do it the other way around. So I start with white and then go darker. Let's melt those. Okay. I want to add a drop of purple here. Okay, that was more than a drop. Okay, let's let's try that out first. Oh, it's not going to be coming out. Oh, it is. Oh, that looks fun. Okay. Let's do this for the next round, too. Oh. Okay. Okay, and I'm cleaning my chocolate in between, so when I'm getting into my second um, color, it's kind of clean, okay. 
I'm taking a brush now to add the color because I yeah I think it was just a little bit too much okay second round Okay, I think I, I I like those two and that one. Actually, that looks kind of cool. And what I will try to do... Is, so I think I will just do exactly the same thing and get in with the stamp. But then I will also use my, my, my brush and just color a little bit the edges. I'm not feeling like using an airbrush today, so let's let's try it with with uh, the brush. Let's see how that works. Let's do the same thing first. Let's see where we where we at. I mean, I'm pressing. A little bit, but not too, nothing too crazy. Hmm. I think it looks kind of cool, but yeah, all of all of these areas are still empty. So yeah, feel free to use an airbrush. I'm just not feeling it today. So uh, that's how it looks now. I think I will just leave those and just let the chocolate come th shining through in these areas. I kind of like that. Okay, I'm excited how this will turn out. Next one. And I would say one of those stamps will last, I think, for... Yeah, at least one or two molds. Um, I'm not sure if the toothpick will stick in there forever. Okay, now I want to start with white. Oh great. Uh, come out. Oof. Huh. Let's see. Okay, that's where we're at right now. Okay, um, I think what I want to try now is not only coloring, not only add color like right into the middle, but like painting it a little bit with my brush onto the sides and so I hope that I will yeah just get a better result on the sides but I think I will just do that with with those three here and see how it goes yeah
Oh yeah, I like it. This is how uh, the sides are looking like. I think if I would have done that with uh, like from the beginning, it would look even cooler. But I still like it. It's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Do that again. Maybe use a different color because um, the green I'm using here is very transparent. And if you use something, yeah, that's cool, that is um, just covering up, up a little bit more, I think that would be better. But I kind of like it. And now I'm just tempering my chocolate, fill in the cavities, and then I'll show you um, my end result. So I'm not doing fillings today, this is just really like <laughs> um, me experimenting with the stamp thing. So yeah, cool, let's temper chocolate. Alright, so I had them in the refrigerator for like 20 minutes or so. Let's see how they turn out. Oh, here they are. Actually, not too bad. I like that one here. This one's also pretty cool. Um, I think what I don't like is like um, the when I was using the brush for the edges it looks a little bit untidy so I don't like that and here I for those two I just used too much purple I still like it it's actually pretty cool let's see how the other ones turn out looks cool yeah I like this combination way more than the other one look at that that's cool and I also think this is the better way to go um, so with this ones here I was also painting the cavity um, with the brush but then put in the stamp and I think this is much better But also I think a, a different green would be better that is not as uh, yeah, translucent as the one that I used. Cool! No, I like it. I'm actually way more impressed or way more excited about the results than I thought I would be. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, yeah, as always, I hope you liked it. Hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, you know, all the things. If you have questions, um, yeah, just comment in the description below or shoot me a DM on Instagram. Um, all of that works. And I'll try to answer all of your questions as best as I can. Um, yeah, that's it for me today. And um, yeah, have a good one. Bye.